So what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Michael Bish from Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM and 96.9 FM, WHAP, Hopewell, Virginia, here with the man himself, Mike Vick. Uh, Mike, how does it feel to be back in your hometown, your old stomping grounds, the state of Virginia? It's always great to be back home. Uh, you know, I'm excited for these kids to have an opportunity to just come out. Um, it's been a while since I did a camp this intense. Uh, Actually, this is the first time that I've did a camp of this type of magnitude. So I'm excited for the kids to get the experience of what it's about. Uh, I'm proud that I teamed up with National Playmakers Academy. I think what they bring to the table uh, is definitely a different element. And uh, you learn to appreciate it once you see the camp structure. Now, there's a lot of talent, you and me both know, that comes out of the 757, the 804, just the entire state of Virginia in general. Can you talk about the talent for the people that don't know that Virginia truly has? I mean, pretty much a third of the National Football League or the NBA is from is 757 Tidewater. And, you know, I don't say that, um, you know, with a great, without a great deal of uh, gratitude. Uh, we know we put out, I think, Collegiate coaches around the country know where to come to recruit, and listen, you, you're gonna get what you what you what you ask for and what you want. Uh, these kids it, really have special talent. They know how to use it. They have great coaches, and I think is a testament to them. Now I know you've been asked over the past couple of weeks a million times about coaching in the future, so I'm not gonna do that. But I do want to ask you what intrigues you the most about that possibility. I think just the teaching aspect of uh, coaching really. It roused me up. I, I get it. I understand it. I lived it uh, for so many years with so many great coaches, and I think it's just an opportunity to give back and share the knowledge, and not always want to or aspire to be a coach to do it, and actually bring it to fruition and uh, watch some kids have some success. Now, when you were these kids' age, you know, middle high school, were you able to attend as many camps or things like that? Uh, I, unfortunately, I, I wasn't able to attend a lot of camps. First and foremost, we didn't have it enough. And now you got camps every every weekend. Um, whether you could afford it or not, I think that was probably the primary reason you know, a lot of kids from my area don't go. So what we do, we spend the time over the weekends playing in the backyards, at least back then. And, you know, it's none of that going on these days because kids are fortunate enough to be able to attend camps and get the proper fundamentals. I think for me it was just being in the backyard and honing my skills in a place where, you know, you had to fight for every yard. And, uh, you know, I kind of took that mentality mentality into my entire career. Now what makes the V7 Elite Playmakers Showcase Series different from your average football camp? It's intense. We're not running the kids around. We're not tiring them out. It's, it's not uh, a day where it's going to be fulfilled with exercise. It's going to be fundamentals. It's going to be teaching. It's going to be coaching. Uh, there, there's MVPs and accolades that uh, kids get at the end. Uh, it's trophies, it's opportunities, um, it's recognition. And I think that's what it's all about. Now, obviously, the future, it's hard to you know speak on the future, but is the V7 Elite Playmaker Showcase, Showcase Series something that you plan to do annually? This is going to be an annual event. Uh, we're going to eventually turn it into an academy. Um, we're going to really stricken uh, down on the rules and uh, make it so there's some requirements to get into the academy. Uh, this year we wanted to be open. We wanted uh, to give the kids an opportunity to experience it um, at, at very cheap cost. Uh, we have great coaches who put in the hard time and the work. So, you know, I think everybody needs to be compensated for their knowledge in some, in some way, shape, or form. But it will get more intense um, down the road. It will continue to aid uh, a lot of areas in recruiting. And uh, I think that's what you know, our biggest gift is going to be being able to make these kids visible. The V7 Elite Playmaker Showcase Series, you've got a few cities left. Can you please tell everybody where they can sign up? Uh, V7ElitePlaymakers.com uh, is where you can sign up. We also have online registration. I think the next city is Chicago, and then we're in Baltimore. Um, excuse me. We're in Miami, uh, Chicago, Baltimore. If that's not the correct order, then excuse me. But uh, – Check the calendars. You can go to uh, at Mike Vick on Instagram. Uh, you can you can check out my Twitter feed and uh, get all the information. But v7eliteplaymakers.com is the best place to go. Uh, we look forward to seeing you there. We look forward to seeing your kids be become one of the top players in the country. Thanks, Mike.